I think many of us at some point have sort of tinkered around with a lot of these AI tools. A lot of these AI tools can be used to create contents, create images, or even create mock-up websites to get inspiration. But I would say that's all they really are, right? Is pretty cool, but I really wouldn't use them on a live client website. But I do think we've actually reached a point now where we can now start using these AI tools to start creating and generating parts of our websites. Elementor has recently showcased one of their newest innovative features, Elementor AI. Elementor AI takes the page builder experience to a whole new level. And in this video, I'll go through what it can do and also give you my personal take on all of this. So here is a teaser video that Elementor has given me. And there's really four major features that this Elementor AI offers. And I'm gonna go through each of them. Now, the first one is creating content. So let me give you guys an example here. Here you can see that we are using the builder and you can use the write with AI to help you create prompts. Now this is very similar to ChatGPT where you can use this to create prompts to get a little bit more ideas for what to put on your website. And then there you can see, you know, you can add it in there and that's pretty cool. And you can go through the rest of your website and just get some recommendations. So here you can see that, you know, you're trying to, you know, get inspiration and ideas. And here you can click on new prompt and you can just put something like, hey, write a short description about how we can create unique campaigns for business growth. And then it generates the content. You can also make it shorter. And I do like that, you know, I do like these options here where you can simplify it to make it sound more human-like. You can make it longer, make it shorter, and then fix the spelling and grammar, which I have seen ChatGPT has made a little errors with that. I'm actually making a tutorial on that right now. And from the looks of it, I can see that their grammar isn't 100% the best, but I believe the reason why that is, is because they're pulling it from all of these blogs and they're you know, getting all this info from all of the internet. And that is where maybe people have misspelled or mispronunciated some words causing ChatGPT to bring those results as well. So let's go ahead and keep going here. So you guys can see that it can help generate content throughout your website. Now this is a really another amazing feature right here. So you can see right here where you can actually change the translation to all these different languages, you know? And I think that really helps because maybe you want a multilingual website and many of us have to use plugins and this can be the start of removing all these uh, translation plugins and you can just have AI completely translate your entire website. So this was the second feature that I noticed was the uh, the multilingual feature. And this would be great for me because you guys have seen my website, darylwilson.com. We have our website translated in five languages, right? So, and we have to pay like 30, 40 bucks a month just for that, you know? And if AI were to start translating the entire website for us in various languages and create permalinks and stuff like that, that would be a, a mind blowing feature and that'd be a whole business itself. So you can see here that, uh, you know, they're getting the German translation and they can use the text and they can go throughout their entire website here and just completely use AI to just create content and also translate it into different languages. The, all these features are really innovative. You know, everything they're doing at Elementor is simply incredible. Now this feature right here with AI is groundbreaking. With this new feature right here, this is number three, this allows you to generate and create CSS uh, using AI. So instead of actually searching for, you know, margin height or uh, center text or line text, you can just type in everything right here and watch what this does. So you're going to go ahead and put in something that you want. Like, um, I want the image to do this. I want the image to hover and I want to change it from a grayscale to a full color. And then this is what I love right here. You can even adjust the border radius, which is really, really cool. So you can see here, they're adding a border radius of zero to 50%. I'm not sure how exact that is, but we all know that border radius makes the, I guess you want to say the container or whatever you're working with in a circular style. So here they are giving it a command to add a transition and also add a border radius. And look at that. It generates the content, or I'm sorry, the CSS for you guys right away. So you don't have to go scour the internet. You don't have to go, you know, to blogs and saying, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? No, 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 no. Everything is right here, which is really cool. There are plugins for this already. I believe there's one called Yellow Pencil on ThemeForest, and that is very similar to uh, this, except now with AI, you don't have to do any of that. Now you have everything right here. So you don't have to go scour the internet and look for all this uh, CSS codes. And look at that. You can see that the CSS code is being implemented on these images. Just amazing, amazing stuff. You know, like, like I, I know as of right now, there's a lot of uh, political talk, you know, about ChatGPT and everything. But I think us web designers were excluded from all that stuff, you know, because here you can see that we can drastically increase our efficiency using AI. 
And here again, you'll see that uh, they're using CSS. And let's see what they want to do here, you know? So, and I, I love the suggested prompts. So it just gives you ideas saying, well, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And all you have to do is just describe what you want and they create all the CSS code for you automatically. Simply incredible. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> it just creates all the, all the CSS. Like this is badass. Like I really love this. So they insert the content and then look at that. It creates this beautiful, uh, you know, CSS effect. And one thing too, I wanna mention that when you introduce CSS and you reduce the amount of JavaScript on your website, this technique of using AI is going to drastically increase website speed. Because let's be honest, a lot of us might see flashy stuff and say, oh, I want that on my website. But what the user doesn't know is that a lot of that is JavaScript and JavaScript can have a, you know, uh, a negative effect on your website because it can slow the website down. But CSS is a lot faster and it's cleaner code. So you can remove all the amounts of JavaScript by increasing the amount of CSS. I would love to see an AI uh, caching plugin that can work with minifying the CSS and the JavaScript. I mean, that's a whole nother video itself. And again, we are just at the tip of the iceberg. So let's see what else is going on here. The next, and this is number four, which is creating HTML code. So you'll see here how they are dragging in this element and right away they're giving you suggested prompts. Now, a lot of the HTML code is used to extract and pull information from APIs and stuff like that. But what I'm very curious to see here is in the future, if they can actually use the HTML code to build full on sections, you know, or uh, if you want to add in like a block with an image or something and use HTML code inside the builder, that would be very interesting, you know, and I can see that you could probably use this to actually, you know, say, hey, make me an HTML section. I want a three column row, buttons underneath, the specific amount of padding. That would be pretty incredible. But here you can see that they are strictly using it uh, just for, you know, usually integrations where you want to embed a Spotify widget, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and see what they do here. So you'll see here they want an iframe code to embed a Spotify widget on the page. And then you just enter your ID generate the code, voila, look at that. And you can insert it and then it'll pull all of your information. Now I'm sure there might have to be some sort of integration in the back where you might have to either, uh, you can probably connect it within the elementary settings, but a lot of these integrations, they work simply by just copying and pasting it onto the page like Google maps or, uh, you know, the Facebook like box, you know, a lot of this stuff can be embedded right on the website without having to enter an API. So images. Now, to be honest, the images, I think we are a little far away from the images. I've used Midjourney and all these other uh, AI platforms quite a bit. And while they are very cool and I do like the creativity of it, it's very hard for these AI tools to understand the mindset of the actual blog culture, to understand what kind of image you want. And they don't really understand the kind of websites that the image is on either. So I do think the AI images are cool, but I do think we are still a little far from using those, but we are getting closer as time can tell. I think as these builders get better and they introduce more features and updates, we're gonna get closer to a period where maybe we can make full-blown websites just by telling AI what to do. And this is a presentation that Elementor has introduced. They gave me early access to this video and you guys can see you know, that they are constantly just improving and getting better. And I love the translations, you know, that's really cool. Now you can just completely translate your website using AI. And this feature right here, I love it, you know, because let's be honest, you know, even if you're a beginner, sometimes you're looking for something with CSS, but you just don't know what you're looking for. You know, you can describe it in words, but now you can just say, oh, I want that little circular motion and I want this color and it generates the CSS for you, which is just simply incredible. And I'm just very curious to see how far this can take us. You know, can this actually, starts, you know, uh, making whole new sections for us? Can it start creating just like full-blown animations where we, no, where we no longer need JavaScript on our websites? And even the HTML builder, you know, can it actually start creating full-blown sections using HTML? I mean, that is pretty much on the way to making full-blown websites. Now, under the Elementor roadmap section, you guys will see that the Elementor AI is currently in progress. They don't have like a scheduled date of when they're going to release it just yet, but I do know that it's currently in alpha. So alpha is basically, you know, before beta. So right now it's like kind of like in their phase where they're gonna push it out very soon, but it still has work to be done. So when they actually release it in beta, we'll probably make another video to see how they can improve upon it and also see if they incorporate the AI images onto their builder. 
So everything I showed you guys in this video is pretty exciting, right? I mean, the things that AI can do is just simply incredible. But let me know what you guys think about AI. Do you guys think that this is the start of something big? Do you think this is all just a big dud? Or do you think this can actually replace web designers and replace web developers? Because you can see that a lot of these plugins like CodeWP and Elementor are now introducing uh, AI where it can generate code and HTML and CSS, reducing the amount of developers that we need. So do you think this is actually detrimental to the market? Do you think it's good? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. My name is Daryl Wilson. I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.